que hay more. So in the line 7, I did all the API. In the line 26, I put the minuscule, is when I finish the digitalization. Okay? Is that a general protocol or is it there? No, in this case, it's what I did in this case. In line 27, is when I start doing the intrusion, the intrusion and limbo return from 4 to 4. And in 53, I end of the feeling of the first phase. Then 24 more aligners, the second phase, and the liberal retainers. This is the timeline, okay, with, with, with this group. Okay, before removing the attachments. Do you need to scan for the liberal? Yes. I, I recommend you to do that. In theory, they can do it with the last states. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Let's, uh, so, you leave the, the screws on for a while? No. For a denture no. and anything? No. Look at the screws. Can you see the screws? Yeah. Okay, the screws here. Infatigomatic is what I use for the indirect anchorage. Look at the beauty of the class one. Diego. Uh, I remember Ivan telling us that he uses a class two elastic, a very light. But in yes, yes, but when you want only anchorage. But in this case, what I tell you, I want two protocols. I want to move also the mandible. When you want only the the the, the correction, only doing the stabilization, just use a light elastic just for anchorage. But in this case, I use more power because I want some effect in the low in, in the mandible. And once you're finished, do you use any elastic at night? No, no, no. So you're, you don't... What is, the best, what is the best retention for stability? Do you use? Okay. <coughs> Just look at the engagement in class one. So you have no experience of... No. Of here, line 26. Look at here. Now, mini school. Okay? With these spaces. Do a picture here. Okay, minus here. Okay, Look at the spaces. How it works. The liners. Okay, how it works to digitalize. <laughs> now we still have the attachments. Then, okay, we have a good alignment. Now we have created the overjet. Okay, they are lined and straight. Okay, almost to class. But as you can see, as you can see, it's in class one. Okay, but in the mouth, what is in class three? Because I'm using a powerful elastic. All the time. All the time. Class two. So it's more. It's looking what I want. It's more moving the mandible forward. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm using a more powerful elastic. Six ounces is the most. Yeah, as much. Yeah. So For inclusion, you, 8 or 10. When did you start using the elastic? When? Yeah. From the beginning. Alright, so that, to aid with the digitalization yes. and. Yes. Yeah. Okay, or what strength right? was it, did you say? What? So, what strength? Between 4.5 and 6. Right. The round, they are fine. Oh. Is 3 to 6 round? Yeah. 6 ounces. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No pain? Have you received? Uh, no. Well, you, have, you know that some, some patients complain for everything and, and most of them complain for nothing. The same idea, this is a seven, okay, in the, in the gum, once again, the mucogingival illusion, we will do exactly the same, okay? Let's look for between six and seven, to here, to there. That's a class three, okay? You take them to class three. Uh, but, but, no, no, but in the clinic, no, in the clinic it was into class one. But because they are using the class two, the mandible is even more. Yeah. Ah, okay. But I'm in the middle, you know, you have interference. Uh, they, they don't know how to buy it. Okay. So they, well, you know, this video. Okay, look at the indirect, the direct anchorage with the metallic ligature. And you see the direct anchorage. Yeah, now we do on the wood one. Exactly the same, vale? Okay, so look at the five in the in now the five in glass one. 
So do you put two buttons on always? Six what? and seven, right? Yes. Yes. Back six and seven. Well, or, no, but if, you, if, if, the, if the screw is distal to the six, with, in the six is enough. All right, that's going to Normally I put in the six. Yeah. Only like this. Yeah. Okay? Like this. Okay, in both sides. 